everyone, this is Chris. Thank you for joining me. So in today's video, I would like to show you what you can do with your inks as a background on something very simple you might have around the corner in your house. And um, it's going to make very nice backgrounds for your cards, for example. And I just wanted to share this with you because a lot of people do videos on using uh, your inks, just, you know, alcohol, regular alcohol inks for your re-inkers. I also love to use the Pinata. This is a brand I really like because they're very vibrant. And uh, I'm just ending all the tubes here because I don't have a lot left, but I really love these colors. And they do this on Upo paper, and Upo paper looks to be absolutely great, but it's very expensive. So I wanted to do something a little different, kind of an alternative, where you can also use this as a background for cards, for example, or you could also frame it if you want to use it as a uh, painting or uh, an artwork if you wanted to. So. Actually, what I have used here is just a transparency. Uh, you call also this acetate. It's just a plastic sheet that is quite stiff. It's not the flimsy one, but it really looks great when you use your alcohol, alcohol inks on this kind of plastic. So I've done here, I used to have a bigger sheet and I have a little bit left over here. So I'm going to show you this. So. I've randomly put some colors here and there, and this is what it looks like. So the idea here is that when you use it on a white piece of paper, all the colors are really vibrant, and you can see each and individual colors. But you, what you can also do is using this um, acetate sheet on something different. So here, of course, all the green parts are kind of going to disappear and also the blues, but you're still going to have a nice background that is going to look completely different. And also what I really, really like is when it's, it's on a yellow background because the colors, again, are very vibrant. Uh, it changes the blue a little bit that turn into kind of a greenish color because the, the background is yellow, but it's also very nice. And you can do this with all kinds of colors of your choice. I have an example here, another one to give you, and I'm just going to put it again on a white piece of paper. And on this one, I hope the camera will be able to catch it, but I've also used, um, let me do a little zoom in now, some gold in here, which you can see probably here. I hope the camera will be able to catch it on, but the colors are really vibrant and it's beautiful. So this is, I'm limited by the size of my uh, acetate, but you can buy them in rolls if you wanted to have a very bigger one. And it's really nice. So this is the part, the nice side. This is actually the side I worked on. So it's, the colors are quite dull and it's got some tooth to it, but you can use either side. I prefer really the other side because uh, you can see the maybe the difference here. This side is much, much nicer, and the colors are, are more vibrant. And you can see the gold pieces. I think you can see them here now, around here. You can s really see it go through. So, I am just using here a smaller transparency, and I'm having some kind of parchment paper, uh, just because I don't want this to... Um, do a big mess on my table and maybe you will like to wear some gloves because it's going to tint your hands quite a bit quite a, uh, a bit so you can mix and match your alcoholic inks uh, whatever the brands are it's not a problem these are ranger inks so what i do here is just spreading some colors here and there and you really don't really have to put a lot because they expand very much and i'm using some pinata here And if you were using a paintbrush, you could maybe do some kind of drawing or painting on it, I mean, uh, to give it a maybe another look. And you can also use a spray bottle with alcohol. Since you're using alcohol inks, you can always use that as well, which I'm spreading here. And it's going to help spread your colors even more, depending on how much you use. So you're going to go on like this as much as you want. See how nice this is? And they're going to 
push each other, melt with which each other, which I like. And better than using the spray bottle, I just like to put a little bit here and there. It's doing like some kind of a resist and it's pushing the colors around. I think it's better than just spraying, but that's just my point of view. Then it's up to you to uh, try different techniques. But it's I really like the look of it. And if you're not happy with it, you can use your alcohol. It's just rubbing alcohol and some tissue paper and rub everything else. Rub it away and you can start all over again if you're not happy with it. I'm going to use a little bit of this gold. And this is gold from the Piñata. And you really don't need much. I'm just putting a few drops here and there and it's really not a lot. Which is good because you're not going to like, you know, lose a little a lot of your inks or it's not that expensive, I mean. You're not going to waste much because the end result is really nice. And here, as you can see, my kind of bubbles, my circles are quite big. It's just depend on compared to this one here. It, it just depends on how much ink you put if you want to have smaller ones. And I do believe I want to have a little bit more of this um, this gold here. But the other side is going to be much nicer. So you have to keep that in mind. The other side really is nicer. So you can fill them as much as you want. I really need some more yellow in here. Because it makes everything pops. Everything pop, I mean. Look at that. It's so easy to do, really, really. It takes no time. And it's going to dry fairly quickly because it, it's alcohol. So alcohol is going to evaporate much quicker than if it was water. And I'm just going to stop here because I think I've covered quite a lot. And I really, really like the color of this. So I'm just going to put this aside and I'll come back to see the result and show you the result in a few minutes. So what I've done here, and of course you can play, I didn't tell you this, but you could use a straw and make the ink go in another direction or tilt your paper and it's going to flow again. So you can play with these inks as much as you want. So what I've done here is I have prepared a card and I want to make a card with this. So I already got my background here, it's a just regular A2 size card. And I'm going to use, probably with this example, maybe some yellow. And also, I want to use one of my backgrounds here. So, let's see. Am I going to use the yellow one? No, because it's quite dark. So, I'm going to stay on white here. And I have die cut this piece here in yellow. And I think it could be nice just to make it pop on top of it. Uh, you could use any colors that you have on your background, but I think the yellow is making it even more pop out. And if you want, you can always come back and um, use maybe some um, varnish to make it really uh, shiny. But because this is already shiny, I think having something mac matte on top is even better. So... You can see it's easy. You can decorate these as much as you want, but because the background is quite busy, I'm just going to use regular double-sided tape. And because I have a lot of ink here, you're not going to see it. If you had areas with nothing on it, you might see your tape. But here, you're not going to see anything. Or almost nothing. You can use also uh, glue, but I think the tape is better. And now what I'm going to use is my uh, little, little glue tip here, fine tip glue. And I'm just going to put this everywhere. And the other technique that I use when I have a very intricate dye like this, and I don't want to spend too much time um, spending putting my glue, is like I put a little glue here. I put some glue on my hand. And usually I do this with a uh, 
with Elmer's glue. Let me catch my Elmer's glue. Okay, so here I have it. And I usually just put a little bit here of Elmer's glue on my hand. And I spread it this way. You can do this on a piece of paper, but I like the fact that my hand is curved and it's going to help me. And I'm just going to put my die here on top. And don't do what I just did. I, I um, spread it like this. No, just tap it. Don't move it. Okay, just go like this. And it's going to be much quicker to put glue everywhere. And now I'm going to glue it on. Then I'm going to use this little piece of tissue here. Paper towel and make sure to press down. So it's much quicker when you have a big die like this to put your glue everywhere. And I still have a little piece here missing. That's fine. I can just go back with my fine tip. And Elmer's glue, for example, it can be Mod Podge, will stick to the acetate very well, no problem. And there you have it. If you want to add a sentiment, you can do it, but your card is over. And look at that. I really think it's nice. I don't want to make it shiny because my background is already really shiny. I just wanted to put something on top. And I really look the effect of it. And it's done really in minutes. Let's see if what we have done here is already dry or not. No, I can see some shiny spots. I'm going to take the glue out of my hand now. Um, there you are. So as long as it's still shiny, there are some areas here. It means that it's not dry yet. But I'm still going to show you the other side just to show you the difference here. Not trying to do a big mess. This side is really nice. Maybe you won't be able to see the difference, but I can, and I can see the gold go here much better. I don't want to put it down because it's going to ruin everything, but I really like it. I really like how it looks. Let me see. I I love it. And it's abstract art. I Hope you like that, but it's really, really beautiful. So there you have it, a very quick video, but it's another way to use your uh, alcoholic inks and without using even Yupo paper because you can stick it down, like I said, on white paper, on a color paper, on any kind of paper you want, and you will have a very nice effect as well. And of course, it's, it's shiny, but I really like the effect of it. So please tell me what you think. Have you tried already this kind of... Uh, of technique. Do you have other techniques to use with alcoholic inks? Also, Yupo paper is not really easy to find in all countries. So I just wanted to share this with you. Not expensive, very quick to do, and great, great cards to make. And please don't forget to give me some thumbs up, sh um, share this video, and also subscribe. Thank you very much, and see you soon for other videos. Bye-bye, and take care.